Welcome back to this week's episode of Five Minutes in Horror Haven with Matthew Fisher. Ooh, get scared out there, everybody, because we're going into the most scariest letter of all. The letter I. I for impossible. You know what I mean? Ooh, nothing's more scary than the impossible, right? Hope everybody's okay out there in COVID world. This, uh, this, the movie this, this week is from 2017. Uh, the film called It Comes at Night, a movie I heard a lot about at the time and did, didn't kind of jump into. I thought it was just one of those, you know, too cool for school movies, which it kind of is one of those things, little uh, drinks its own Kool-Aid a little bit. Um, written and directed by Trey Edward Schultz, starring Joel Edgerton, of course, you know, Christopher Abbott, Carmen E. Goge, Ry uh, Riley Kehoe. It's one of those kind of apocalyptic type movies that almost you can put in the same categories like A Quiet Place or um, Bird Box, one of those type of deals. Um, you got you got Joel's the, the head of this family, and, you know, he's kind of got his family out in the middle of nowhere in a house closed off so nobody can get in, almost nobody can get out type deal. It kind of has a little bit of a Night of the Living Dead vibe to it in that sense of it. Um Filled to the gills on suspense and intention building. Um, it's about, you know, he's protecting his family. They stumble into another family of three. They're invited into their home to, you know, uh, out of the kindness of their heart. And, you know, there's always going to be a give and take whenever there's one person over another person saying, you know, well, I'm kind of the king of the castle type deal. Uh, you know, this is my show. Even in, a, even in a world where everybody's dead or everybody's dying off. The thing is, is I think... Men turned to monsters or something weird like that at night. Uh, it was a real cre cre crazy, you know, creepy at times type of uh, thing. Um, so, yeah, the whole movie, you know, Joel's this good-hearted man protected his family and all that. And, well, you know, he turns out by the end of it, he becomes what he didn't want to become. A monster, but not because of infection, because of the infection of society. In human humanity on itself, he's infected by humanity and has to make a decision that he's not, I don't think he's happy with, but has to. So it goes in an environment like that. But uh, I thought It Comes the Night was, it was pretty good. It was worth a watch. It was worth, worth one of those movies worth watching to say that you, um, to say that you watched it and then moved on. Um, it, you know, it was done for pretty, it was only five million, which by Hollywood standards is pretty low. You know what I mean? But and the, the whole plot of it and stuff like that is something that, you know, anybody could, with the right equipment could just go into the woods and make. Um, and if they had the talent, they could make it as suspenseful and stuff. So it was one of them. And I'd definitely say, you know, check it out. You know what I mean? It might be something that you'd, you'd enjoy. Um, like I said, I thought it was pretty good. Um, I, I'm glad I didn't buy it. It's not a movie you're going to want to watch twice, I feel. But um, you get that first watch in it, you're pretty good. And it's on Netflix, so go figure. All right, our vinyl of this week is one of my most most favorite ones of recent date that have come out in the last couple of years. It. It, the television. The television miniseries got its own vinyl. Now, I used to watch the, the hell out of that tape growing up, and I love it. <laughs> the, the remake... I enjoyed the remake, both one and two. You know what I mean? I thought they were nicely done, too. But you'll never get, you know, part one will always play in my heart. Very special like, very special like. Got Georgie and the, his cover right here, which is very nice. You know, Richard Bellis did the score for it. Um, let me see. These are called multicolored vinyls. Yeah, you got something right here. You got, like, a little cutout. Right here we got a nice red vinyl. Ooh, blood red. Blood ready. Blood red like the balloons and the blood and the cum. All mixed together, child. All mixed together. Oh, I think they could all be. I think one of them's... I thought that was yellow, blue, and... But we got another red. We've got one more red. Let's see. I believe they're supposed to be three different colors, boss. Maybe I got the jip, boss. Imagine, like, looking at them deeper and realizing they're all the same record. That would suck. I actually bought a Nirvana record once. That was that way, which was very upsetting. 
where it was it had two of the same record, which sucked. Which sucked. The next one's red too, children. You know, I won't take it all the way out. Bada boom, bada bang. But yeah, for some reason, I could be wrong, but I thought that was supposed to be three ref, three different colored, like a red, yellow, and blue. I could just lost my mind. That happens from time to time. But yes, nonetheless, if you feel like watching It Comes at Night, watch it. It is one of those, it will leave you wanting a little more. It doesn't really answer any questions. And to be honest, nothing comes at night. Um, except for maybe some of the people in the film. Uh, they come at night. And they turn, they turn on Joel's son by coming at night. Get some in a sexual mood. You know what I mean? All right. Enjoy. Be safe.